Hi, everybody. It's Annette here again. Hey, today I wanted to talk about gritting. Now, I don't love gritting, but I love to cross stitch on gridded fabric. And I think many people like that. Some don't like to grid at all and prefer to work without a grid, and that's fine. Some are very focused on gridding, and that's fine. I do a little of both, mostly gridded though. So I wanna tell you how I grid, and it's controversial. It's controversial because not all people like putting a pin on their fabric. I use the Pilot Frixion Ball Clicker. It's erasable with heat. Now, I know it does disappear even on paper because my daughter-in-law's friend wrote a bunch of letters and put them on the dash of her car, drove to the post office. When she grabbed it to go in to get her stamps, she looked down and it was gone. And the next one was kind of faded and then the rest were fine because this pen erases with ink. You can write secret love letters and erase them and tell them to put them in the freezer and it'll reappear. Now I've used it on my sewing. I think about 10 years ago, I got my first one. Whenever they first came out, I saw it on Simply Quilts. If anyone remembers that show with Alex Anderson. And I've, I've drawn designs on my quilts to try and do quilting on, to try and do quilting on. And I haven't had a problem with it coming back. But I haven't traveled in the car in the freezing weather with it in the trunk or something. And I've worn the garments and maybe my body heat makes it not come back. I don't know. I mean, yeah, the lines not come back. So I wanted to show you a little experiment I did because um, I know people are um, afraid of using the Frixion. So I'm gonna share my screen with you because I took some pictures and you'll just have to bear with me as I do my little photo sharing here with you. Okay, so first of all, I wanna show you, this is when I finished my project. I wanna point out that I had already, you can kind of vaguely see a little outline of lines that were there, but I had ironed around this and made it nice and neat as I was working on it. So it just was those lines. Now, I, when I was done with it, I ironed it and all the lines came out didn't give it a worry. So then I framed it. Well, then because of the controversy, I thought I am going to put this in the freezer. And I don't know how long I left it, 10 or 20 minutes, not super long, but long enough. Because when I took it out of the freezer, okay, there. And you can see more lines came back than because those were my old lines that I had ironed off when I started working on it. So then I thought, hmm, it really does come back and pretty strong. And I thought, well, if I put this um, on a frame and I put it in the car and I drive to my friends to give it as a gift, am I going to see all kinds of lines? And if I do, can I fix it? And I thought you can't take it out of the frame and iron it. So I thought, let's see if a blow dryer will work to get the lines out. So that's what I did. I plugged in my blow dryer and I'm going to show you this little video. It's just a few seconds, but as soon as the blow dryer got warm and was going out, the lines disappeared before you could even see them disappearing. As soon as it, it got on here, everything started. This is very good for the You can see all these lines. So all of the lines came out, which was reassuring to me. Now I um I saw Stitching Jules mention her Frixion pen and she wrote on it and then she put it under hot water. Now, maybe the hot water washes it totally away so it doesn't come back. I don't know. I hadn't put it in hot water. So anyway, I finished up. I'm going to get off of that one because I'm going to show you that one in a minute. Um, and I finished my project and I got it all just to show you the project. I did get it all on the stretcher bars and got it hanging with the ribbon. I glued. I used, um, I can't even think, oh, I know, steam a seam two quarter inch fusible tape to put this um, drapery fabric on the back. But that is 
it all done. And it looks really cute in my kitchen. I really like that caught that design and I will link to it again. I linked to it in my last video. So that is that greeting story. I'd like to show you this greeting story. This was my gifts from the sea. You can also see the progress that I've made on gifts from the sea. I'm very happy with it. I got some of the middle pictured and I didn't do back stitching in the middle and I started on that lowest shell. But you can see here where I gritted with the fabric. I have a piece of fabric going across here that we don't need to have. Oh, wait, get that out of the way. Well, it got loose, you know, in all the years and hooping and unhooping, it kind of got loose and it was in my way. So can you see the red lines? So when it's in the hoop now, I just go ahead and make a red line and just cut the, the that silly string off, yarn thread off because it just keeps getting in my way. Now that has a lot to do with that. I didn't grid it well. I did it, I did, I went around the 10 every dot and then the other way, 10, I didn't do one in between. So it was very loose and I was, um, I just didn't like working with it. So now I've been gritting it with my pen as I go along and hopefully that will all come out. So I want to show you, I'll do this at the end. Let me show you my next project that is all gritted up and nice. And um, I didn't even mention it last time because I, I um, saw this in between, but this is called China Blue. Let me see if I can move this graph down out of the way. And I have some of the, the center part. Aren't these colors nice? These beautiful colors. I'm not showing this very well, but you can kind of see how pretty it is. This, I will show you a picture of it, was from a magazine. I'm on Kindle. I have a Kindle Unlimited subscription. So I typed in cross stretch magazines. And then I got this magazine called Ultimate Cross Stitch East Asia. The, it was on page, I can see 81 maybe. Um, it was a 2020 magazine, volume 25 of Ultimate Cross Stitch East Asia. It's called China Blue and this is it. And it's spring, she painted the hoop, a nine inch hoop white and then you know made it real good. And you can kind of see up here, there's a ribbon hanging it. Isn't it pretty? I just thought it was, I love blue and white and this Asian design, it's from a blue willow plate. It's, and it's easy to stitch. And you could see my gritting, since we're speaking about gritting, on, on my frame here. And I will talk more about this frame in my next um, video because I'm, I'm still experimenting in what I like best and what sits on my lap best and what lets me relax while I stitch. So now that's the end of my gritting test. And the next, is, next thing I'm gonna show you is how I grid. And what I am gritting is this pineapple, no, it's called the mini bouquet. It's a free design from, um, let me get over here. Uh oh, I don't know what I did. I must have put my, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. If I was on the right screen, I could, um, why won't you go down? Okay, here I am. I'm sorry for that little blip. Now let me share my screen. Maybe. Yes, this is what it is. This is the mini bouquet sampler. You can see up here, it says JeanetteDouglas.ca. Free one year of mini bouquets. Well, she has released, she has released, the, I'm pointing to it, you can't see that. The pineapple one was January, February 1st. She released the Valentine one. March 1st will be the tulip basket, but she's also released the entire border. So that's what I'm going to be gritting in my, in my gritting video that I'm going to show you now. Before I start, I'm going to tell you, I, it's DMC Charles Craft Fiddler's Craw Cloth 16 count in kind of an oatmeal color. I'm using a purple Frixion pen 
and I will, um, if this video is just under seven minutes, and if you don't want to watch, you don't have to, but I will um, also put this in my blog, my blah blog, but I'll write all of this out in my blog too. So, okay, now I'm going to go, uh-oh, I'm going to stop sharing so I can get up here the video that I want to show you without showing the whole world everything I have. I didn't realize I put it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is all new to me. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put the video on. No, I didn't screen share yet. Isn't isn't recording fun? Share. Yeah. I don't know how to cut this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna pause. I think I figured it out. I'm really sorry for that blip. Hope you fast forwarded. Okay, so here is the video of me um, gritting a cross stitch. So I am gritting my mini bouquet sampler, the free sampler from Jeanette Douglas Designs, and I am gritting the border. The border goes 21 um, grid squares tall, 18 and a half wide. So the center which I have marked right here, the center would be five up and five down. So I've marked that. So I have the first 10. So how I'm going to grid this is with my Frixion pin, I'm going to go up 10, make a dash, up 10, make a dash, and I'll just do a couple for you. And then I'll do the same down 10 and make a dash, down 10 and make a dash. I'll do it horizontally, 10, make a dash till I get to nine, until I get to 10 up here. So I'll just do a few to get started. One, and you feel the bumps with your pin so that you know um, where the next 10 is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and make a dash. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and make a dash. And I'm going to do the same thing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, I got to count that one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops. And dash between the next two holes. And I'll double count just to make sure I haven't made a mistake beside it. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that seems accurate. Let me do a couple to the side for you. One, two, whoops, wrong one. That's the five mark. That's the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make a dash. Let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and make a dash. So I will continue doing this all the way horizontally and vertically, and then I'll connect the dots. I had to go back and press iron the color out of this one because I counted 10 down. from the center instead of five down from the center. So one, two, three, four, five, made 10 from here to here. So remember, this is a center line, which I don't want that line there. I'm gonna have to press all that out. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Remember, this was the center line, not the 10 line, there's 10. Now I wanna go down 10, 
to make my grid across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. There's my horizontal. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to make just a little dash here. Darn it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to turn it this way and do some horizontal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> Let me double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you'll notice, if you mess up in this area, that's the start of your whole grid when you start in the center. Remember, this was my center, and I had to count down 10. But I forgot, and I started counting from here. But that was the 5 mark because it was in the center. So let's, um, I double check this. So let's do one more line. One, two, three. And remember, I'm going to do that 9 and 9. Okay, back in a minute. So now it's all marked 10 grids this way. And you want to match your chart. See, the center of my chart is not the center of, a, of the 10. The center is the center of a 10, but not where my horizontal line will be. So I've counted down 21 this way and 18 this way, and there will be five extra on this side, which, you know, it cuts it kind of close. I just ordered the standard tube, and it could have been a little wider, but I think I can just frame it. I can work with that, so I'm okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw all the lines each way, and that will take me a little time. I use good glasses and good light and some nice music. So let me go ahead and do that, and you can pause just a second. I just want to say something. Since I know I'm on the line of 10, I don't have to count anymore. If I follow, stay right on my line, I know that that's 10 apart, and then when I start making my lines this way, they'll all be little boxes of 10. So I am gritting. Okay, so there we are with that one. I'll just show you. That was half done, and that was all the way done. And I do have to um, tell you, let me stop sharing. I do have to apologize. The phone taking the picture, whatever, was right by my face, so I talked soft, so it wouldn't be too loud. Well, it absolutely wasn't too loud, but I'm hoping you got the idea anyway. Now, with this design, I want to show you a reason why I grid. Perhaps I showed you this. But on this, I'm just going to show a little bit of it. The design starts right up in the corner. It, and so, that's upside down. Starts right up in the corner. So, with my design being gridded, I know that I'm going to start right here in the corner and I'm going to, and then I can follow it. So when I'm working on the pineapple, I know, yeah, I know it is, I will have done the border and so I can count down, the, this starts in the next 10. So I just look at my grid lines and I can see where it starts. I'm using this because it's a free graph. I hope you can go and print it out because it's, it's so cute, all made up. She has one made up in a, in a pillow here, little pin cushion, but so cute. I think you will really enjoy that.
These are the colors. I'm going with the DMC colors because, because they're cheaper. And so, but they're just beautiful. I can't even show you them. They're just all such pretty colors. I love reds and greens. I love greens. Greens are my favorite. So, okay, I think I've shown it all to you. I hope you can grid. If you have any questions, please um, mark it. I want to thank everyone that left comments last time. It really does help me to get in mind what I'm doing, if it's working. And also, um, if you have any questions, I, I'm okay. To, I'm not the world's expert on anything, but I'd be happy to try and answer your question. And I've enjoyed the video. Everyone that made a comment, if they had a video, I went and watched their video. And I'll write, I'll mark a couple of them that I saw. I can't remember all of the names, but in the notes, I will link to some of the ones that I watched that I've enjoyed and now am a subscriber and I will enjoy watching them. I just need more hours in a day. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in a couple weeks. Bye.